What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here again today with another BFR video. So today we have game 25 in New Jersey against the New Jersey Devils, the top team in the league. The Devils are wearing their jersey jerseys, their black jerseys. The game took place at 6pm on December 6th. Tays had the flu so he didn't play and 11 forwards and 7 defensemen were dressed for the Hawks. Uh, the last time the Devils played the Hawks, I was there, the Hawks won 8-5. Um, Ty Domi was in the crowd watching his son Max Domi at, at, as per usual. He's been seen at a lot of Hawks games this year. And then uh, the Hawks lose 3 nothing. They get shut out back-to-back -back times, 3 nothing in each by the Islanders and then the Devils. They go to 7-14-4. Mitchell was in, Reichel was in, Taze was out. Shots were 29-24 to in New Jersey. Hits were 13-7 to in Chicago. Faceoffs were 25-23 to Chicago. On the power play, Chicago goes 0-3. for New Jersey goes 1-2. for Soderblom saves 26 out of 29. Vanacek saves 24 out of 24 in the shutout. And we'll get out with the game, as there wasn't really much that went on. I do have questions about the Devils, however. So early on, Hamilton's denied early. Soderblom um, loses mask in a scrum. Wood was shut down. Devils pressure. Kane rebound stopped. Bogfist denied. Uh, and whistle to Kachuk was wide. Seth Jones redirect was denied. Um, and then uh, Domi stopped. Um, it bounced over the rebound bounced over his stick and then at 833 it's a New Jersey one timer from uh from Dougie Hamilton his seventh of the season from Hughes and he Heesher. So yeah you're triple H there, Hamilton Hughes Heesher. And um it was an incredible move and play by Hughes. He won basically around everyone during that play, behind the net, in front of the net, over to Hamilton who's just waiting for him and he blasted it. Uh, Hamilton looks for his second, Athens is denied, and the Hawks try to stuff one in and it doesn't go in. And then at the end of the period, at 1.15, it's a New Jersey penalty to Mercer for high sticking, which would be killed. But then we go to the second period, where the Hawks start with 45 seconds of power play time. But then at 19.08, it's a Chicago penalty to Murphy for hooking, which would be killed. Uh, Heischer break, has a breakaway that's saved. Uh, Hughes is saved. Brought to Heischer in an incredible save by Soderblom. That was a fantastic save. Seth Jones was stopped, McKay was hurt on a block, and at 14.30, it's a New Jersey one-timer goal from Nico Heischer, 11th of the season from Siegenthaler to make it 2-0. And Soderblom didn't have his stick on the pre after making the previous amazing save, so that was just kind of unfortunate. Uh, the whistle blows offside, and uh, Smith then had a huge hit on Reichel after the play. He just annihilated him, and so the Hawks swarm him. And he gets a penalty after that at 13.44. It's a New Jersey penalty to Brendan Smith for roughing, which would be killed. Uh, there was a 2-on-0 shorthanded breakaway. Uh, wait, that's where, that's where two are far ahead right now. I think that, that was on. That might have been on the Murphy play. Um, 5.28, Chicago penalty to Reese Johnson for interference. And that's when the 2-on-0 shorthanded break saved by Vanacek. It was Blackwell and, uh, I want to say Dickinson or Kara, if I can remember. It was one of those two. Um, it saved uh, Blackwell with the shot. It saved. Still looking for his first goal. He's played well. He just can't get a break. Um, Zetterlin had a big hit on Athens CU. And then at 5.02, it's a New Jersey one-time for power play goal. It's from Jesper Bride. It's fourth, tenth of the season from Hughes and Hamilton to make it 3 nothing. And we go to the third. Uh, Tatar was wide. Soderblom shaken up as Tatar's stick goes inside of his mask. And it looked like Stauber, the backup for the Hawks right now, since both their main goalies were out, was going to go in. He didn't end up. Soderblom did stay in. And uh, the trainer was out making sure he was fine and everything. Uh, Tatar had a chance that was stopped again. Marino had a breakaway as he came out of the... As he... Um, as he uh, Yeah, because at 12 minutes, there's a New Jersey penalty to Marino for high sticking, which would be killed. And then he gets a breakaway as he comes out of the box. That saved... Murphy and Mercer were bugging each other, and Athens CU stopped, and that basically concluded the game. One thing I wanted to point out here was that New Jersey did not even look like they were trying in this game. I'm not sure if that's just how they play, but they looked like they were just playing around, not trying much, and not putting enough effort in. And can I just say, if that's true, I commend this team. If they can walk into a game, and for this complete difference from when they were a joke a couple years ago, it's a complete difference from when they could walk into games and say, oh, all right, we, can, we can take it easy tonight, this is an easy win. And see, speaking of easy wins, Anaheim won their game last night, so they are now within one point of the Hawks, which means the Hawks are that much closer to getting Connor Bedard. And watch, they're going to get last, and then they're going to get second. That, that, that's going to happen. It's going to be Buffalo or some other team, Buffalo or Ottawa or... Someone that's someone's gonna get a first overall pick again that probably shouldn't. It's gonna be like Buffalo or Ottawa or someone that's had a lot of top picks recently. 
But I want to thank you, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. As it's really all I have. As Newton Detroit moves up, um, Winnipeg moves up, and that and Pittsburgh moves up. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.